Hi, so I just want to give you a quick rundown of the email read of you plugin built by the email markup consortium. So here we have an email opened in Gmail. Uh, this plugin also works for Outlook, Yahoo and AOL webmail versions only. So when we have our email like this, we can see it's a nicely designed email. It's actually quite easy to read because this one is from the email markup consortium. But sometimes we can find HTML emails tricky to read for a number of reasons. So if we wanted to change this to suit my reading style more, I can open up our Reader View app and just click Enable Reader View. Here we can see it's changed the layout and the, the styling of this email um, to make it more readable format. We've got three default profiles, light, dark, and sepia, um, just to change the different colors. But once uh, you open this, you can actually change these more. So let's change this background color, let's make it a bit more orange. I'm going to rename it as well because um, sepia doesn't make sense anymore as a name. So I've changed that to orange. And let's just change this link color to something a bit more blue, like that. So now I've just changed this and this will save. So next time I open this, I've got my orange preset saved. So we can customize these three, each of these three to whatever you, you like. Inside our general settings, we've got a few more controls. We can adjust our width. Um, so just change the width of the email. Look at our fonts. So we can do like a cursive font if you find that easier to read. Personally, I'm gonna stick with um, sans serif. That's what I find the best. Adjust the font size. So let's just make that a little bit larger if we wanted to. Um, the line height, let's make that a bit bigger as well, so we can just make split the lines up a bit. Adjust the word spacing, so just spread them out a touch more, and then the letter spacing as well, just to make all of this a bit easier for me to read. And finally, we've got this block images option. So when we're looking at here, we can see this logo at the top, the Email Markup Consortium logo at the top here. If I switch, particularly in the dark mode, we can see it kind of disappears here. So if we switch to block images, we can now see it's just replaced it with a little box uh, with a dashed outline and then the alt text from that image, which is Email Markup Consortium. Um, this is a, a nice way of viewing um, the email without images enabled. Sometimes images can be a little bit confusing. It can in interfere with the reading process. Sometimes they're great, but so we've given you an option to do either way. And finally, if we go down into our settings, if we want to go back to everything we want, including our orange, um, we've modified there. If we just want to go back to wherever the defaults are, we can just click reset settings. And that's going to put everything back to where it began. Thanks a lot.